Here we are at the Shamaplast foam molder plant here in Phoenix, Arizona, where we make the insulated, insulated concrete forms, Fox blocks. Insulated concrete forms are just these blocks. They're 48 by 16, and we, we stack them up much like Lego blocks. And then we uh, reinforce them with rebar horizontally and vertically. And then we pour the, the entire cell full of concrete. Um, one, of the, one of the secrets behind the Fox blocks and what makes it so strong that uh, allows it to hold the pressure of concrete. And the secret to that is this patented black uh, web. This is made with recycled plastic. And uh, it's got a patent design of a, almost like a truss design that gives it its strength to hold both foam panels together. It allows an inch and a half wide fastening strip for drywall, stucco, interior studs, or, um, or cabinets. And this is integrated in the block every eight inch on center. And a lot of people ask, how do you find those when, uh, when they're already molded in the foams over the top of it? So every eight inch, it says Fox blocks. And that's where an inch and a half wide stud is. And that stud is plastic, but it still has the same pullout strength as a metal stud. Um, that's for our straight block. And in our corner block, we have a extremely heavy duty um, black web and it's integrated into the block and it provides a lot of area for fastening the drywall and stucco or, uh, or siding. And uh, concrete builds most of its pressure in the corners and that's why there's quite a bit of a difference in the, the look of these. Uh, this is extremely heavy duty um, to hold that corner together when we're, we're pouring concrete. And now we'll go out to the plant floor and find out how this is all put together. So we are stepping into the factory. It's going to be a little noisy, but let's look at square one. How is a Fox Box made? EPS is produced in a three-stage process. The first stage is what they call pre-expansion. So polystyrene beads about the size of sugar granules come in contact with steam, the blowing agent or pre-foaming agent found within the polystyrene beads, usually pentane, starts to boil and the beads are expanded to between 40 to 50 times their original volume and blown into large storage bins. The second stage is conditioning. After expansion, the beads undergo a maturing period in order to reach an equilibrium temperature and pressure, usually one to three days storage in the large bags are best. The third stage is molding. The beads are then placed or blown with fillers into a mold and again reheated with cross steam. The pre-foamed beads expand further completely to fill the mold cavity and fuse together. The beads are molded to ICF blocks. Bag of beads will make an entire truckload of blocks. Most houses will take one truckload. So you can look at it as one bag will build an entire house. Putting six webs per block and we'll make three blocks at one time. So once they are completed and bundled, they're stacked and inventoried and waiting for ICF specialists to put in an order. Then they're moved from these bundles and taken out to the docks and loaded on trucks. 